Shawnee. Welcome back. I've already started, <laughs> but I'm in the office today and I'm just going to jump right in because we're going to talk about the news, but the first, first news is about me. Okay. So I have the mini nude palette and the mini Biba palette from Natasha Denona. And I'm going to start with the mini nude and go in with this uh, Matt here, which is what I started using. I primed my eyes with the a, um, a Concealer from NYX and also earlier for the first time ever. I'm super late to the game, but I used the Black girl sunscreen the matte version. Oh my god. It's amazing. It's as amazing as everyone said and No white cast at all at all all and it's like a gel i think the original one is more like a cream i'm not sure anyway y'all so i wake up this morning and whenever i'm going to the office i wake up about an hour earlier but today i woke up like an hour and a half earlier didn't get me out of the house any sooner but you know still so i leave the house i i go to my car it's kind of like right in front of my house and I put my uh, bag in the car and then I get in, you know, and so I'm looking out my window, my windshield, and I see something like by the dumpster over there and it like, I'm like, it's like a red thing. I can't really tell what it is, but red, like the, the color of my sweater. So I turn on my car. So the headlights come on, right? Y'all, I'm looking through the window, the, the windshield. Is a giant, and when I mean giant, I mean life size, human size, red teddy bear sitting, just sitting. Ma'am, I was like, what the fudge? Wh what? So many questions. How, when, why, where, who? Okay, like, who? does or did it belong to why did they purchase it but also why did they throw it out and also why 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 <laughs> why a giant red teddy bear and why do you have it sitting on like at the dumpster like y'all it's sitting there just like i'm sitting in this chair just like you sitting wherever you're sitting that's exactly how it was when I tell you, I was like, this is from the devil. Like, <laughs> I have so many questions. And like, why Why are you throwing it out at this point? Did you get a new one? Did you get one that's like a different color? Like, is it also life size? Is it for you, adult? Or is it for a child? I wouldn't want that. As a kid, I wouldn't want that in my house, in my room. I'd be like, I don't know what you're doing, parents but take it away. I wouldn't want it in there as an adult. That thing looks like if I would not have been surprised if it got up and started walking towards my car. And I told Jan and Erica early this morning, I was like, I would have run it the hell over. Okay. Because that, that, mm, that's how, that's how the scary movies be, right? All of a sudden you get snatched by a red teddy bear. Girl. I tell you, I, I'm still confused. I'm wondering if it's going to be, if it's going to be there when I get home. I don't know that I feel comfortable about that. Oh, I didn't realize, so this is the mini Biba. I didn't realize this is one of her like creamy mattes. I didn't realize that. But I'm going over that other shade just with this. Okay, so let's start with the news, child. So most of us have had to have something in our house fixed, right? Whether that be a leak. Um, I know I had to get my dryer fixed and they were like, you just need a new knob. I didn't claim to be like a technician, okay? I didn't know that that's all I needed. But this guy in Mexico, he, he had a leak. One of his um, pipes water pipe pipes was leaking. So he called a, a plumber, plumber comes over and the plumber is like, okay, let me check it out. I'll give you an estimate. We'll move on from there. Whatever estimate this man gave to this other man, he, the homeowner was not having it. He was not okay with it. So you know what he did? He pulled out a gun and held this man hostage. He held the, the plumber hostage 
And he was like, I'm going to kill you, bro, because y'all playing with me. I'm going to go in with, what shade do I want to go in with? Maybe this one first, then possibly this one. He holds this man hostage. On one hand, I get it, okay? I understand sometimes they be quoting you some ridiculous prices. Yet and still, I don't think it's okay to hold them hostage. Like, e even if it was an exorbitant amount of money, just be like, peace out, bro. Like, I'm not here for it. This is a little expensive. I'll just keep drip dropping, right? So the neighbors call the police because they claim to hear some banging, like bang, bang, bang. And the police come and they're trying to negotiate with home dude because he is literally holding this plumber hostage. He's like, I'm not letting him go, right? And so the police are able to like see him at the window and they, they figure out that the gun is a replica. Like it's not a real one, I guess. So they're like, Hey, dude, like, we just want to make sure that the plumber is okay. Can you just open the door a crack? So, fool opens it, and they just, like, bust in, and they arrest him and rescue the plumber. Now, they don't give the plumber's name. I can't remember if they gave the, the guy, the homeowner's name. And they also don't tell us how much the plumber quoted him. Because <laughs> I'm curious. I'm curious. How much was he trying to charge? Not that he should have been arrested. Um, held hostage but could you imagine going home like you're a plumber like you have things to do you like have stuff to fix you came over because sometimes they give you a quote over the phone sometimes they have to come see it but you come over you tell this man a quote and he's like nah bruh so of course home dude is being charged with like I think kidnapping or false imprisonment or something. Anyway, he, he gonna be real upset because he should have just went ahead and called for another quote from somebody else and left this man alone if he didn't want to pay for it. <sighs> Shenanigans. I think I'll go in with this one now. This is still the mini nude. Yeah, okay. So let's move on to other foolishness. There's a 27 year old like TikTok person from Africa, 27 year old. And he has, I think 300,000 followers. And so he's on TikTok, just always talking about his profession, his career. He's a doctor and you know, he's always showing himself like at work, not showing patients or anything, but at the hospital and such walking around. Um, and, you know, he's he's giving advice to patients and all this stuff, or he talks about doing that. Um, and then, one day he gets arrested. It's like, WTF, is it malpractice? No, sweetheart. He's not a doctor. He's, like, he's not a doctor. He is not a doctor. <laughs> Apparently, this is not the first time he's done that. But here's the thing. He was like on TikTok, like in scrubs and had a, a stethoscope around his neck. Do they still do that? Is this Doogie Hauser? He claimed that he's some kind of like wonderkin. Like he uh, graduated at 16 and then became this super young doctor. And he's just like bopping around the hospital. Like if he's, he's a doctor, giving patients like info, um, prescribing meds. He don't know what meds he is. He's prescribing stuff to people. And so they arrest him, right? And he's like, oh, I gotta use the bathroom. And so he goes in the bathroom and he tries to escape through a tiny window. And they figure it out and the security's like, oh, snap, he's probably gonna try to escape. And so they, like, grab him and, you know, arrest him. So, you know, oopsies. Now, you would think that would be enough. Is that like a one-off? You know, it seems like he was doing it uh, more than once, rather frequently. But again, I fell down a rabbit hole. I'm gonna go in with a Demessa. Danessa Myricks <laughs> blurring bomb. So I fall down this rabbit hole, okay? Now, I don't even know which one to tell you first. There was, let's go by age. So there was a 20-year-old young woman in Turkey 
Now, her parents really wanted her to be a doctor, right? But she took, I guess, the exams and she failed. She didn't, she didn't pass, which is fine, totally fine. Now, I don't know if you can take it again or not, but she decided to go another route. She went ahead and um, just started pretending she was a doctor. So she told her parents, yeah, bubs, like, I'm a doctor now. And she faked, like, some IDs so that it, like, you know, like the IDs that, that um, doctors be having. She faked some of those and just went ahead and started working at a hospital. Not only that, homegirl, like she told a surgeon that she wanted to like go the pediatric doctor route. He had her in surgery. He had her come into the surgery. Then one day her mom gets sick and goes to the hospital that her daughter works at. And the daughter goes to the hospital and she's like, yeah, I'm Dr. So-and-so, my mother's here, you know, take good care of her. But then they started asking her like some basic medical questions, I guess like some stuff that doctors just have in their head. They just like know this stuff. And she kept avoiding answering and they were like, this is weird. So they call the police and they find out that she's not really a doctor. Thing is like, she had a great reputation at the hospital. Um, everyone liked her. Um, yeah, but she wasn't a doctor at all, not one bit. She, I guess maybe she should be like a spy or something because she was impersonating one very well. And I don't know what's gonna happen to her now. But I bet, how you gonna be a doctor and like, just invite someone into surgery, like, but then there is another woman who is in France. She's 31 years old, so old enough to know better. Ma'am, she impersonated a doctor for three years, for three years, for three years years now she's a mother of three i think and she was she said she was just like driven by money girl you're gonna be driving yourself into jail right now so i'm gonna go in with the tom ford um foundation stick so homegirl she um forges like some degrees and all this stuff and she gets hired at a hospital she starts working um not only that, <laughs> she gave out about 20 of the COVID vaccine. So this is recent, y'all. She gave out about 20 of them. Um, what else did this woman do? Yeah, she did. She started in 2018, Sonia. Um, like she just didn't let it get in the way that she didn't actually have any medical training. She has a degree, um, in like real estate planning. So, you know, super similar to being a medical doctor. Um, she had, you know, fake, uh, fake diploma, fake, fake board certification. <laughs> she went through the interview and she got hired. Not only that, I guess she was doing like, she was exposed in 2021. Not only that, homegirl had a, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called when you have the, the thing on the ankle, the, the tracker for when you commit crimes? She had one of those. Maybe her scrubs were long enough to hide them, I guess, a GPS tracker. Um, so yeah, didn't nobody notice it. And <laughs> she prescribed medicine, though she didn't know what the hell she was doing. She's a mother of three, but now she's been sentenced for three years, um, prison time. I would imagine she would have to do more, but maybe not. Um, yeah, maybe not. Not only that, 
so initially she was just like a I guess a general practitioner a general physician but then she decided that she wanted to go into ophthalmology <laughs> Now, ever since I was two, I've had to go to the ophthalmologist and the optometrist yearly because I had eye surgery when I was two and I've just, like, I can't see without any, if I don't have any sort of corrective lens. Now, I feel like I have been to the eye doctor enough to hopefully have noticed if this lady was fake going in with Marc Jacobs concealer. I don't know, though. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Ain't nobody else noticed. But here's the thing. Are y'all not vetting these doctors? Are you just like, oh, looks like you've got a diploma. I don't know, a couple things are misspelled, but that's probably just, you know, somebody was just half asleep that day. So, gonna give you the job. Thanks very much. You're board certified. What? Because that's a big deal. So I just wonder, are they investigating the, the the hospitals? Because how does that happen? I'm not okay with it. I am not okay with just some random person coming in and touching my bits and pieces and my eyes and being like, oh yeah, I'm a doctor. Like, so PSA, y'all, check, check your doctors, okay? Make sure they have valid degrees and licenses. I know for therapist like we get like no I think like everybody you get like national provider identification so you can go in and research you can look up your doctor and make sure that they have all the things that they're supposed to have I mean now I'm scared because who knows who I'm seeing right I could have been seeing somebody who just came off the street bought some scrubs off of like some scrub place, put on a stethoscope, like if we're in the 80s, and it's coming in and taking my blood pressure. No. And then you have this other one coming in talking about you you gonna be in the surgery. Doing what, ma'am? Doing what? And this other one handing out, if y'all got the vaccine, then you know, you, you have to like punch it into your, your like, arm so she was just out here giving out vaccines like we could just volunteer to do that and then have the nerve to be like hmm they want to they want to do ophthalmology listen and this was real recent okay this is in recent years so that's the other thing how is it in recent years like everybody is always uh what's it called like Hiring people usually are looking at social media and stuff these days. So you looked at her social media and you just figured, hmm. Well, she has a stethoscope. Must be a doctor. I am just like flabbergasted. If I were a patient, I would sue. I would sue so hard and fast, okay? I would sue. Not only, not only that, it's a breach of like trust. I, oh, like what is the thought process? Homegirl did it for three years. Three years and ain't nobody figured it out? Three years. I wonder who figured it out. I wonder if it was, like how? Yeah, they do say breach of trust. But nobody checked her credentials. And it seemed like she initially like used two other doctors' names that like they had the same name or whatever. So, but y'all didn't do a background. I have to get a background check just to get my license as a psychologist. I have to get a background check. I have to get fingerprinted, like all this stuff. But, but apparently, I just might as well be a medical doctor. I, I'll just go to Johns Hopkins and be like, hey, guys, um, where's my, like, office um, with, like, a, a lab coat bought off of Amazon? But I would probably be. You know, I wouldn't be able to do it because I'd have like a pink lab coat on or something, you know, like a tiara. And I'd be like, you're not a, you're not a medical doctor, ma'am.
I'm a doctor. I'm just not a medical doctor. I'm a doctor of philosophy. Anyway, I'm just like thrown off that all these people are doing it. All these people are impersonating folk. I know there was a couple years ago, there was a woman impersonating a therapist and had no kind of therapist uh, training, therapy training, and was just like, hey, clients, you know, <laughs> what? Y'all, just be careful who you have all up and through your stuff because people are out here causing problems okay full-on problems could you imagine if you were one of their patients and you just go to casually peruse the news and you're like um that was my doctor and she done prescribed me all these pills that's the thing i feel like we implicitly we implicitly trust doctors right because you're thinking not only are you thinking they're trained, but you're also thinking that they are um, whomever has hired them has like made sure that, that the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. So I'm just like, how? These people are obviously in the wrong careers because if you can if you can impersonate a medical doctor for three years, you had a prescription pad that you were writing on, then ma'am, you're in the wrong field. We need to hire you from for some like covert ops. She made a good like seventy thousand dollars in euros. So I don't know what that translates to American dollars. But ma'am, you were trying to make money for your kids. Now you're going to be in prison. What your, what your kids going to do now? And how are you going to get another job? Well, maybe you will because apparently people are not checking credentials. They're just like, come and knock on my door. We've been waiting for you. Like, we just need you to be a doctor. Thanks. Like, <laughs> come on. There's a lot of foolishness. People are just doing stupid things just plain old stupid it's not smart whatsoever there's another lady this is also another PSA it's just like just don't that's the PSA don't she I think it was in Michigan she went to use the restroom in a porta potty okay somehow she dropped her Apple watch down the potty Ma'am goes ahead and starts trying to get the watch. She gets stuck. People hear her yelling and screaming, so they call the police. Yup. They call the police and they realize that she um, is stuck in the porta potty. Her hand is just like. That's why <laughs> they didn't release homegirl's name because, you know, I wouldn't want my name released. So the police are like, just in case you're wondering, if you ever lose an item in like an outhouse toilet, um, don't attempt to get it. Don't attempt to go into the containment area because serious injury may occur. Not only that, they didn't say whether or not homegirl was injured. Um, they also didn't say whether or not she got her watch back. They had to remove the toilet and use a strap to get her out. My thing is, e thing is even if I manage to get that... Uh, that watch out of the toilet... There is no way 
in heaven or hell that that would, that I would put that thing on on any parts of my body. Just say that it's been lost, girl. Report it. You can report it right from your phone. Just say that it has been lost. You can no longer find it. Okay. I hope you had. Maybe she didn't have insurance, and she was like, "Well, I need that back." I'm sorry, but that would be. I mean, no, I no longer have an Apple Watch. Could you imagine? I'm glad they didn't. They didn't release her name. Watch her go to like hang out with friends and family. Wait, girl, where was your watch? Where you don't have your watch on anymore? <laughs> <laughs> like, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. If a friend came to me and was like, girl, I dropped my watch in this outhouse, I would just be like, oh, man, are you going to get a new one? I would not think that they were going to be like, well, you know, I tried to get it. How you try to get it, though? What you what you do? How you, how you try to get it? That might be the end of the friendship because obviously you have no common sense. Like, that's obvi, okay? I'm going to go in with this NYX um, Wonder Stick in deep. You ain't got no dig on sense. Now, here's a funny story we can end on. There are these five parrots that were taken to a zoo. Let me see if I can get the names, okay? Because we need to know these these parrots personally. We need to just, we need to understand them. Okay, so it's these five African gray parrots. I don't know much about parrots, but I do know that they are highly intelligent. So they're at this zoo and the people at the zoo think that they're being a bad influence on each other. You know how it is when you have friends and they just be making you do stuff that you're not supposed to be doing. So the parrots are named Billy, Elsie, Eric, Jade, and Tyson. I feel like I already I already think that Elsie, Jade, and Tyson are just gonna be instigators for some reason. I feel like Billy and Eric are just like chill, but Elsie, Elsie, Jade, and Tyson are just like, oh, we're gonna cause a ruckus. Now, they joined a colony of 200 other parrots, right? They, but they were the new ones. They were the newbies to the establishment, to the zoo. So they came in, you know, you know how it is. You're a new person on the job or in, in the apartment complex. And you're just trying to get along with people, you know. And you find your folks. You realize that everybody else, they came with you. Like, yes, girl. <sighs> But soon after they started just like hanging out as a group, they started encouraging each other to swear. <laughs> so they're like, the zoo people are like, most parrots like clam up, they don't say nothing. And not these five, not these five. They're like, hey, say bitch. <laughs> They're like, say it, say it. Oh, that's what I imagine. Anyway, so they said they've gotten used to like parrots swearing, but they ain't never had five at the same time. That's why they think they're a bad influence on each other because y'all done got together and decided to act the fool together. So... <laughs> So now the parrot, this is just like, this is just like bad kids. Now the parrots have been like distributed in, into different areas so that they don't like set each other off. But I feel, I feel like they would probably like pass notes like, hey, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So no one's complained about the parrots, but the parrots have told, pe told people to F off. <laughs> I'm telling you, how many stories has it been where, where animals are like, I ain't playing with you humans no more. 
B's parents are like, F you, bitch. <laughs> so there haven't been any complaints, but visitors to the zoo have been like, hey, guys, um, like the parrots are kind of cussing me out. Like, it's cool because it's a parrot, but could you like do something about that? The zoo staff is like, it's always, it's always somebody. I wonder who the leader of it was. It's probably, it's probably. So we have Billy, Elsie, Eric, Jade, and Tyson. I feel like it's Jade. I feel like Jade is the one that's like, y'all, they not gonna do nothing. <laughs> Jade is the ringleader, okay? Jade was like, they wanna bring us up in here? Have us caged up? Well, on the count of five. <laughs> all right y'all here's the finished look here's what i want you to do for me tell me out of the parrots which one you think is the ringleader so we have billy elsie eric jade and tyson let me know Cause I, I think, I think I would pick Jade. I think I would pick Jade. So we have Billy, Elsie, Eric, Jade, and Tyson. Let me know who you think is the instigator. <laughs> Who's the one that's fanning the flames. Anyway, this is a finished look. I have to go therapize people now. Yep. <laughs> I hope that some of this was helpful and I also hope that you are continuing to take care of yourself. I would love it if you liked the video and I would love it even more if you subscribe to the channel. And I would love it all the way, all the way up if you left me a comment and told me what you think. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.